Police have a man in custody after a stabbing that injured two people at Mall of America. Authorities say the suspect began stabbing two shoppers because he was caught from a dressing room, caught stealing inside the Macy's. A suspect went into one of the dressing rooms and attempted to take some property. The owner of the property came in to the dressing room and confronted the suspect. The suspect pulled out a knife, um, and during the confrontation, the victim was stabbed. During that confrontation, a second person who was shopping with the initial victim was also stabbed. So this all went down in a dressing room on the first floor of Macy's just before 7 last night. The suspect is a 20-year-old Mahad Abdirahman from Minneapolis. He was allegedly trying to steal belongings from another person in the fitting room before he started stabbing people while he was caught. At this point, police are saying they do not believe he knew his victims. The suspect was caught by police a short time later. Apparently, some shoppers actually helped detain him. He is now being held on two counts of first degree assault. The two victims are both adult men. They are related to each other, and they are both expected to be okay. The death toll from a powerful earthquake on the border between Iran and Iraq has now gone up to more than 400 people. Thousands of others are injured. The 7.3 magnitude quake was so powerful, people along the Mediterranean coast felt it. The earthquake was centered 19 miles outside of the Iraqi city of Halabja. At least 50 aftershocks have been reported. The worst damage appears to be in the mountains of western Iran. Iran sits across major fault lines, and they are prone to frequent earthquakes. President Donald Trump is wrapping up his overseas trip to Asia with perhaps his most controversial stop. <laughs> Protesters gathered in the streets of Manila, burning signs depicting President Trump. He's in the Philippines, meeting with, among others, that nation's president. Now, the president there often criticized by human rights activists for his violent handling of the country's drug war. Now, this overseas trip is focused primarily on trade in North Korea, and the president says he's going to make a major announcement Wednesday in Washington, D.C., regarding those two subjects.